Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb One, and I'm in my <laughs> vehicle. I'm in northern Colorado in the snowstorm that's so far over two feet. Um, as you can see, here's my driveway, and I spent last night, I feel like the Lord telling me that he wanted me to shovel this driveway, which is about 80 feet to the to the um, uh, street out here. That's um, first, fortunately plowed regularly because it's kind of a main street, uh, main thoroughfare through the, the town I'm in anyway, uh, because it goes right in front of the uh, the firehouse is right next to me. So the main reason I'm doing this right now is just to let you know um, that what's going on. If you wanted to know, also ask for prayer. Uh, it's always a good idea to ask for prayer and things like this in uh, uh, situations like this. And um, so I'm asking for prayer. Um, I have a generator going, and uh, which is ha has some power in the, uh, to some a heater and you, any other power we need for one unit, one thing at a time, of course. And then I was able to uh, work with, I fortunately right next door, again, this whole thing with my house and where I'm at has been set up by the Lord for a couple years and I knew stuff was coming. Um, I didn't know exactly specifically this, but I have a generator for what he wanted me to prepare for and the different things and I didn't know how it was coming. But um, anyway, so right next to me, I have a basically a five bay fire firehouse. Um, they have big, five huge bays. Um, and it's a pretty good size one for the county that I'm in um, that services a couple different towns and even another city so uh, because it's pretty large anyway I was able to work with the main fire chief there he's a great guy named Cody oh man what a blessing pray for him as well thanks so much for to Cody for um, just letting us there's basically an outlet that's uh, part of the firehouse that's out by this uh, retaining wall and a flagpole. And it's uh, it's basically serviced by the, they have a huge generator. In fact, this generator <laughs> has gone on and off at normal times of day at times to make sure it's maintained, I guess. Um, you know, it's every few days or whatever, but it's right near my backyard. So it's pretty loud and we've had to deal with it. And I always told the Lord, I was like, you know, uh, maybe we'll be able to cash this in, this annoyance at all these times on some day when this thing's going to actually help us. And here it is. Uh, very crazy. So um, it's actually supplying us with power. They let us, uh, I, I talked to him. He said, yeah, absolutely. Um, he gave me a really long extension cord as well. We plugged in, went across my yard. And I have a, like an acre and a half I'm on, thing, thankfully, against this house right here you see on the right. Um, uh, there's about an acre and a half that starts in the front yard and goes around the back. Um, it's just awesome. It's, we have uh, 27 trees. Um, it's just, the Lord's so amazing. I, my rent should be twice what it is. It's all God. I can't even take any credit for it. Um, we got into this thing after we were homeless about eight months. It's all the Lord and things we went through to change our hearts and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, uh, that's a long story. Um, so anyway, he let me uh, tap into that. And so I have a steady flow um, and I have a generator going, like I said, also for the heat upstairs. And then I have the steady flow downstairs. Um, so I'm so thankful. Um, just letting you know what's going on. Um, you know, and again, I will, I will ask again, uh, if you're able to give, I appreciate it just because we didn't get as much, um, as we could have gotten on my last video, be able to, it's in the description box here. Um, but mainly I call, I mainly, I wanted to let people know what's going on and be kind of like an on the scene reporter or something, but also ask for prayers. So thank you so much for your prayers. We feel them all the time from people that pray for us all the time. And uh, specifically for this, if you pray for us on the, this situation, um, I think everything's going to be good. The Lord's awesome. He's amazing. Uh, Jesus is good. Jesus is wise. So he's given us all kinds of, uh, giving me all kinds of things to do ahead of time. Literally, I have. he told me last night to fill my van full of gas and then also fill another big gas tank full. And, and the, uh, so basically where I live, right next to me, it's crazy. It's right at the firehouse. And then right next to that, on the other side of the firehouse, so I'm, I'm, I'm on one side, then the gas station, which is, also has like a Taco Bell and, um, and anyway, it's a 7-Eleven as well and a gas station, um, it's all shut down. We're on the same power. Um, it's not functioning whatsoever. In fact, I went over there because I shoveled this bad boy out last night or early, early this morning, went to bed, got up three hours later when the power went out. Um, and I'm pretty much living on a few hours of sleep. Uh, anyway, nonstop today. So, um, yeah, what, what I want to say about that, I've, I haven't done this for a while where I'm just like 
don't have a script or anything, so bear with me. Um, so with my with this uh, gas station over there, I'm thankful. I I filled up my van. I filled up a huge, a good sized gas can full of gas for my, and I had another one full already. And the Lord just like go over there, fill it up. And my wife was thinking we probably wouldn't need it. But I'm like, I don't know. These people are pretty much like clockwork. And this 14 day thing, they're gonna. And so our power went out this morning at 6 a.m. for two and a half hours, and then it came back on. And then I went to sleep <laughs> for like 45 minutes or 30 minutes or something. Was woken up. They didn't wake me up, but I kind of woke up by them talking about it because I was sleeping on the. I was kind of just sitting up, sleeping on the couch. Um, I just kind of conked out for a while because they need some sleep and then the power they were like the power went off again so it's been off for over three hours now uh three and a half hours and so i've had a generator and then since then i got tapped into the uh power in the firehouse next door so anyway just let you know what's going on and a few different things going on here um and it's crazy uh i i can't imagine i just asked for prayers to go out i mean i'm asking for prayers sure but we're set up in a lot of ways and with the lord most importantly we have the power you our power is out but we have the power of christ um so i'm so thankful and he's uh the things sometimes you need to prepare for other things are in the moment by faith some things uh, pre preparations faith i mean it just depends it can't it's not either or either or all the time sometimes you prepare and that's a good idea sometimes you prepare because you're scared and then you should just trust when you need to trust and all that it's about the walk it's like you're listening and he's saying okay now you need to prepare for this and this okay don't worry about that okay prepare for this okay don't worry about that don't worry about that and it's all about relationship you cannot figure it out Okay, that's what I'm saying about this all the time. And here I am in this freaking blizzard, and my family could be real, basically freezing right now if not for my preparedness to some degree. But also, again, the Lord's saying do this and then go do that um, when the time is right. Um, this morning I went, I last day, la, earlier this morning I cleared off this um, driveway, and, it, and then I immediately like, got covered again a good amount. I cleared off a little bit more, then went back and forth on my, uh, with my van uh, to kind of, uh, you know, push it down and stuff. And I got out into the city, or the city, the town, and everything shut down. I mean, and there, there was a McDonald's there. I don't eat McDonald's ever, but I, I'm like, I had to get some hot breakfast, so I just got some um, egg McBuffins and sausage McBuffins or whatever uh, for the family in the morning. That's it. We, I gosh, I usually just stay away from that stuff because it's just so bad for you. Anyway, um, but that was important because I couldn't make any food. Uh, everything was off so uh that was really nice but then everything else was shut down the local hardware store was shut down the gas station shut down the uh supermarket i stepped in and they said we're closing in an hour i'm like well what do people need food i mean <laughs> what do people need supplies i went and grabbed some more candles in case this lasts longer than i think it is um i have a lot of supplies on different things i'm thankful um you know, I have a lot of different things so for different reasons i have tons of water i've a good amount of food and everything and all that but i mean i didn't really plan for this but i was kind of planned for it in a way but the rest of it, the lord just took care of so anyway uh without uh, keep going for a long time and just saying the same thing over and over um i just want to let people know thank you so much if you're able to give as well it's in the description box the links in the description box for paypal uh, my po box and such i mean this is eventually going to blow over but we have uh like i said in my timeline through the through May, it's going to be in May that this stuff hits. And again, my timeline in uh, February is completely solid. Every single day has been confirmed, and that's the first time in three years, basically. And then this month, March, every single day has been confirmed. So I'm telling you, that this is like it went. There's been similar dry runs of this timeline as far as symbol, symbols and things like that on each attack day. For example, the eighth day has been several things with Trump, and I'll tell you real quick. Last month, okay, I was gonna throw this on my last video. Uh, it just got too big. I wanted to get some other important stuff out instead. But last month, we had on the eighth day of February was the beginning of the second impeachment of Trumpel. Okay. Um, and that was on the eighth day, and he is Mr. Eight, or 58, also 38, also 88, but anyway, so that was the eighth day. And then literally, uh, basically nine days later on the 17th, which is one plus seven is eight, okay? On the eighth day again, that was another example of an eighth in eight day, um, Trump Plaza was demolished, or you know, basically ruined to the ground. Okay, look at this, this is crazy. It's getting nuts uh, in a lot of ways. 
Um, anyway, um, I have a huge, because I have these big trees, as you can kind of see one up, up there. I'm not going to show you the whole yard, but, but whatever, I'm in the van. Um, I have these huge trees, and one of them, this massive tree limb just crashed down. It's probably a, a foot in diameter, <laughs> this tree limb. And it's, but fortunately, all the branches that come off of it and everything, it's pretty large, the section that came off the tree. Uh, but it fell right on top of a uh, sand, this big, huge uh, 10 by 10 sandbox I made for my kids. Um, and it the, just the twigs are hitting touching it, but it's not didn't do anything, so it didn't damage anything. Thankfully, um, I, I'm super blessed. I can't imagine what people are going through right now, and what and I, I, I just pray for people as well with the Texas thing and uh, each disaster that comes is like just killing me that people are going through this kind of stuff. Um, anyway, and so I, here I'm going through this. It's, it's kind of crazy, but again, the Lord protects. I'm not afraid one bit. The Lord's there. He's taking care of us. And he's helped us prepare to some degree for things that might come. And I knew this was coming uh, days ago because of the, the, the these numbers. Thank God I knew this. But most people, a lot of people are stuck in their homes without power. I mean, I know that for sure for my landlord as well. Um, his He's without power. His um, Someone else he knows is without power in the, in the town here and in the town next door as well. So And they have nothing. Um, and they can't go to a hardware store and get anything because it's closed. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, why would you leave a hardware store closed in the middle of stuff like this when people need supplies and such? I mean, it's it's asinine to me. It's really, it's really crazy. So, I I mean, maybe there's a reason, but I think it's really stupid um, to help the community. You need certain things open, uh, especially if this goes long term, and it could. So um, I'm prepared if it does. So um, anyway, uh, I think that's it. Um, I was going to say something else. Again, I'm not, bear with me, I'm not very good at these kind of things. I'm going to have to upload this, hopefully it gets up. And my data's slower than normal too because of all the snow and the blizzard and everything. It's probably, you know, stacked on top of the tower. I mean, I don't, I don't know how that works. So, um, I think that's it. Um, again, I just want to give you an update and everything. Oh, uh, about the 14 days. So, again, uh, on the 8th day, Trump Plaza basically came down and it imploded that was an eight day thing okay so there's been several timelines when there's been an eighth day and it had to do a trumple so many times i mean go back to when he pulled out of the iran deal that was may 8th the jcpoa that was the eighth day i mean so many things and uh sometimes i'd have two days in a 14 day timeline happen sometimes it was three um rarely was it ever four and then never all of them and in february all of them the, the month of the stupid bowl 55 because it's pointing to 55 five in, in May and then this month is today is the 14th one plus four is five and it's the third month in the Gregorian so that's third month the real third month is May so we're looking at May and the f these fives that are coming up anyway so this is completely confirmed anyone who's watching this it's confirmed, okay? My timeline is confirmed twice in two months, and these are, and watch my last video. Uh, these two uh, months are mirrors, or uh, kind of dry runs in a sense, or symbolic basically of what's coming in May, which is far worse, far greater, many, many casualties, and, uh, and like I said, in you know, the last Texas one, I mean, people died and they froze to death and such. I mean, that's horrible, that's horrible. And I don't know, people are gonna probably die in this, I mean, People, so many people are not prepared. They act like the powers is just there all the time. Of course, I never take any of this stuff for granted. Thank God. I mean, I realize how fragile it could be, especially when they plan this stuff. So they, my power went on and then it went back off. I mean, that's I, I don't recall that. That's never happened to me. Okay, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. And you know, it went on. It was on for an hour at least. Well, maybe not an hour. 45 minutes or something. Uh, maybe a little less. I was sleeping. <laughs> I don't know exactly how long. Um, but And then it goes back off again, and then it's off for hours and hours. I mean, it's just, again, this is not, you know, organic. It's planned. It's absolutely planned <clears throat> to the day. Okay, there was a storm in te Texas and all these other uh, states. Um, Texas was the biggest hit, and it was 4 point, and it, it was crazy. That storm started on the 14th. Then the biggest power outage happened on the 16th, which was 216 or 216, which is six times six times six, 216 is six times six times six, and it was 4.4 million people without power, which is the 44th prez. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So anyway, I'm, I think I'm done. I made my point. 
Hopefully you get that. And again, thanks for prayers. Thank, please take a, take a few minutes, pray for other people that are going through all this stuff. I'm praying for people. Um, I'm always praying for people on these big events that happen because it's just people eventually, somehow people die and you know, it's just crazy. And that people would, you know, just come to the Lord. That's the biggest thing is to pray for them that their hearts would change. They would turn to the Lord even more than against the events because these events are gonna, you won't be able to stop these events. And, you know, just be able to pray for people and pray that God's will be done in their hearts and lives. So I am without power, electrical power, but I have massive Christ power. Thank God. And that's what you need if you don't have it. I guarantee you, without Christ's power, you don't have a shot in what's coming. You do not have a shot. You don't have a shot. I'm telling you. And it'll be more, more and more evident as we get closer to May. And in this timeline in May, th this will be so freaky, you won't even imagine. I mean, this is freaky right here. If you're sitting in here and you have no power. I mean, are you kidding me? What if I was sitting right here and I had no power right now? And no had no idea when, if it would be restored and when it would be restored. I mean, I mean, people went a long time in Texas without it coming back. And maybe there's still people that don't have it back. I don't know. I don't know those details. I would imagine so, but I don't know. So anyway, um, I, I've I said enough, I guess. And so anyway, God bless you and come to Christ. This is your Christ moment. Come to Christ. Um, it will be the best decision you ever made. So um, things are getting so much worse and there's no safe place in this world. And that nothing from the, what the elites are doing to people and what they're planning will be will safe for anybody. I mean, even freaking Denver. <laughs> and I said freaking. <laughs> so it's freaking Denver, you know. I mean, I'm not in Denver. I'm in northern Colorado. But I'm just saying just in general. I mean, and why I'm saying that is because it's the, it's the pit. It's the den of the serpent. Okay, welcome to the den as in Denver. And I've shown how DIA is the serpent's layer of stinky B.O., and my daughter even had a dream about it before I even knew he was the Antichrist, that he was um, underground. She saw she was with some kids and she, they went underground into these tunnels. And then she went into this room where this guy in a suit was telling these people on computers to, to create hurricanes, earthquakes, and um, tornadoes. And she said, she said exactly that order. And I'm like, who is this guy? And she didn't know, whatever. And then uh, it was a couple years later when the Lord told me that he was the Antichrist. And I think it was a few weeks after that. We were watching, somehow it was, the news was on or something just by chance. And there was Stinky B.O., the 44th Prez, Brock and St. Obama on the news. And my daughter said, that's the man, Daddy. And she was at that time probably six. But she got the dream at like four. Something like that. Something like that. And I just, I had these, uh, it just stunned me. I'm like, that's the guy who's underground telling people to create these things on computers and everything. It's like, yeah, that's the guy, that's the man. I'm like, that's our president. He goes, she's like, that's our president, that's the president? And Because I would never talked about him. I never, ever talked about him. I never watched him. I hated him. I didn't, I mean, he was so evil and stuff. And I, and then, but when I realized he was, the Lord told me the Antichrist, I'm like, okay, that's why. Okay. And he lies more than Clinton. Okay. I get, that's why. Okay. All right, great, but I didn't know until he told me, basically, and then he told me the United States was Babylon. Anyway, so um, I'm going to leave it at that, and God bless you, and uh, yeah, I might be rambling a little bit, so apologize for that, but trying to get some information and share what's going on, um, and we'll leave it at that. I'm just not used to these things, so um, this is Exalted Lamb 1. God bless you. Over and out.